Stone Fox, Chapter 7. It was Friday night, the night before the race, when it happened. Grandfather was out of medicine. Little Willie went to see Doc Smith. Here, Doc Smith handed Little Willie a piece of paper with some scribbling on it. Take this to Lester right away. But it's nighttime and the store's closed. Just knock on the back door. He'll hear you. But are you sure it's all right? Yes, Lester knows I may have to call on him any time, day or night. People don't always get sick during just during working hours now, do they? No, I guess they don't. Little Willie headed for the door. He sure wished he could stay and have some of that cinnamon cake Doc Smith was baking in the oven. It smelled mighty good, but Grandfather needed his medicine. And anyway, he, couldn't think of, he wouldn't think of staying without being asked. One other thing, Willie, Doc Smith said. Yes, ma'am? I might as well say this as now as later. It's about the race tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. First, I want you to know that I think you're a darn fool for using your college money to enter that race. Little Willie's eyes looked to the floor. Yes, ma'am. But since it's already done, I want you to know that I'll be rooting for you. Little Willie looked up. You will? Win, Willie. Win that race tomorrow. Little Willie beamed. He tried to speak but couldn't find the words. Embarrassed, he backed over to the door, gave a little wave, and then turned quickly to leave. And Willie? Yes, ma'am? If you stay a minute, you can have some of that cinnamon cake I've got in the oven. Yes, ma'am! Later, on his way to town, little Willie sang at the top of his lungs. The sled's runners cut through the snow with a swish. This was a treacherous road at night, but the moon was out and searchlight could see well. And anyway, they knew this road by heart. Nothing was going to happen. Lester gave little Willie a big bottle of what looked like dirty milk. How's your grandfather doing? Lester asked. Not so good. But after I win the race tomorrow, he'll get better. Doc Smith thinks so, too. Lester smiled. I admire you, Willie. You got a heap of courage going up against the likes of Stone Fox. You know he's never lost, don't you? Yes, I know. Thank you for the medicine. Little Willie waved goodbye as searchlight started off down Main Street. Lester watched the departing sled for a long time before he yelled, Good luck, son! On his way out of town along North Road, Little Willie heard dogs barking. The sounds came from the old deserted barn near the schoolhouse, and Little Willie decided to investigate. He squeaked open the barn door and peeked in. It was dark inside, and he couldn't see anything. He couldn't hear anything either. The dogs had stopped barking. He went inside the barn. Little Willie's eyes took a while to get used to the dark, and then he saw them. The five Samoyeds. They were in the corner of the barn on a bed of straw, and they were looking at him. They were so beautiful that Little Willie couldn't keep from smiling. Little Willie loved dogs. He had to see the Samoyeds up close. They showed no alarm as he approached or as he held out his hand to pet them. And then it happened. There was a movement through the darkness to Little Willie's right, a sweeping motion, fast at first, and then it appeared to slow and stop. But it didn't stop. A hand hit Little Willie right in the face, sending him over backward. I didn't mean any harm, Mr. Stone Fox, Little Willie said as he picked himself up the ground, up off the ground, holding a hand over his eye. Stone Fox stood tall in the darkness and said nothing. Searchlight barked outside, and the Samoyeds barked in return. Little Willie continued, I'm going to race against you tomorrow. I know how you want to win, but I want to win, too. i got to win. If I don't, they're going to take our way our farm, and they have the right. Grandfather says that those that want too bad enough will, so I will, and I'll win, and I'm going to beat you. Stone Fox remained motionless and silent. Little Willie backed over to the barn door, still holding his eye. I'm sorry we both can't win he said, and then he pushed open the barn door and left, closing the door behind him. In the barn, Stone Fox stood unmoving for another moment, and then he reached out with one massive hand and gently petted one of the Samoyeds. That night, Little Willie couldn't sleep. His eye was killing him, and when Little Willie couldn't sleep, Searchlight couldn't sleep. Both tossed and turned for hours, and whenever Little Willie looked over to see if Searchlight was asleep, she'd just be laying there with her eyes wide open, staring back at him. Little Willie needed his rest, and so did Searchlight. Tomorrow was going to be a big day, the biggest day of their lives.